Welcome to the Afrocentric Woman, where our mission is to inspire Black women to heal core wounds and embrace a luxurious and abundant lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. Let's talk, sis. Hi, lovely ladies. Hope you're doing great. Wanted to come on here today to talk about making new level up friends. So friends who are leveling up with you and if you're dating actually finding friends who are single or in sessions as you it's always easier you know to do outings and stuff and have somebody to chit chat with and share ideas and experiences and it's hard if all your friends are married <laughs> um or friends that you've you know had to move away from because it just wasn't a good fit anymore um they just you know just weren't a good fit I mean we talk I feel like we talk a lot in general society um, as well as in the level up movement uh, black women in luxury movement etc about um, cutting off people even in divestment uh, community they talk a lot about cutting people off and moving away from people and you know severing ties and things of that nature but we really don't spend a lot of time in any of these communities talking about uh, creating and nurturing healthy relationships um, or acquaintanceships or friendships or allyships or anything, um, which we need to because it's really difficult. I think it's difficult for all adults to um, make new friends. A lot of times people make friends from childhood or college or grad school and then that's it you know they kind of pretty much keep those friends uh long term um maybe they develop friends from work as well but with this new hybrid uh working environment there are a lot of us who are not actually going into an office we're kind of isolated working from home and so we don't have an opportunity to, to make those uh, workplace friendships and we have less opportunities to make friendships, even those who have left the church setting. Um, that used to be another, you know, huge opportunity for socialization and fellowship. And a lot of people have left the church setting. So that definitely makes it much more difficult to make friends. So um, I'll just share some initial thoughts with you about how it's been for me and some uh, things that I've encountered and you know what I kind of keep myself what I kind of do to keep myself motivated to continue to um, look for friendships probably the first uh, key thing to remember is to take stock of who's already in your network a lot of time the squeaky wheel gets the uh, oil and the attention so we tend to kind of focus on those problematic relationships the contentious relationships the non-reciprocal relationships, the toxic relationships, the unhealthy dynamics, and they kind of um, warp our, you know, idea of what our network, who's really in our network, and um, what all we already have immediate connection to. So you might have a handful of unhealthy relationships or, you know, relationships who've run their course kind of being loud and taking up all your attention and you kind of forget that you do have two acquaintances or neighbors or good friends that are healthy and fun and you always walk away from them feeling inspired and uplifted. So I would say first, think about your own network, like who's in there. Um, you know think about neighbors think about former colleagues think about um, people that you maybe were went to college with or people that you used to go to church with or you know second or third cousins that you really don't know very well but you know you know you're kind of sort of related to them or friends of friends or if you have a good um, a guy friend or a guy cousin and they have a wife or a girlfriend or a, a good friend or sister you know that you might be um, that you maybe met on occasion or hung out with a little bit that might be cool you can always start there um, I feel like one of the biggest hindrances women have with kind of reactivating old relationships is they feel so much guilt 
um, for like not having kept communication going that they just let more time go by. But usually if you are a positive, upbeat person and you're reaching out to someone else with a similar um, attitude, they're usually very happy to hear from you. Usually really, really, really happy to hear from you. So I would say start there. It could be a text message or Facebook um, message, you know, whatever the case may be, Instagram, whatever kind of connection you have, just to kind of re- restart things and see um, if it makes sense to hang out again. And then um, I can say for me personally, um, Facebook groups have worked um, good for me with making new, meeting new acquaintances that are in level up. So there's a lot of um, Facebook groups, you know, whether it be like leveling up or hypergamy or something along those along those lines. Um, I've met, you know, you can kind of post your city or you can search the group for your city. And you can see what ladies are out there. Now, I've kind of had my ups and downs with this. So I would say initially, um, when I first started that and I connected with some ladies, um, nothing too bad, but definitely not exactly with the same mindset. Um, Some people have one foot in the dust bucket and one foot in level up, but they're not really fully committed to level up. So those are always challenging to navigate. And then just from a purely superficial, superficial um, standpoint, you know, just finding someone like kind of equal to you or in looks and the way they carry themselves and the way that, you know, the way they dress and stuff like that. That's been a challenge as well. Um, Because, you know, it's just for reasons that I won't go into. Um, when it comes to going out, that can be challenging when you don't have like an equally yoked group. So there's that. Um, so I kind of met a batch of ladies initially that, um, sweet, but it's like, I don't know. You just like, you just know when it's just like, it's not working or I don't know. It's hard to explain. But I'm really excited about the new connections that I've made. I've, you know, gone out on a limb and reached out uh, to a couple of ladies, one of whom was actually partnered up. She's partnered up, but she's always turning up. You know what I'm saying? Like she posts um, video, um, she posts pictures in our group. She's always out and about, very upbeat. Like that's the energy that I that I like. Um, but just just turn up, have a good time. You know, going out to brunch, going out to art shows just doing whatever and also I'm thinking like well maybe he knows somebody you know (laughs) maybe her guy has a friend that you know we could double date who knows but um so yeah so we should be linking up soon and then I met up with another lady who she's actually about a decade younger than me so it's not quite the same mindset definitely don't have the same time frame as far as how we're moving um you know priorities and things like that but nonetheless, still a young lady with her head on her shoulders. So we've been keeping in contact. I've met ladies in different um, states um, who travel from, you know, now and then. And they just have a really good advice. They may be um, been leveling up way longer than me. And so that's been extremely helpful as well. Um, and then I feel like I have like one more. Oh, no, there's like a woman moving to my city who already hit me up and and it was really cool because I had already been following her um you know on social media and um yeah so I'm I'm happy to hear that she's moving to my city so I feel like that's just one more leveled up person to me because honestly like I have ended up meeting this woman um year you know like maybe a couple of years ago when I was just trying to meet women in general and I really didn't specify level up Um, And so she and I have met and we've met a few times for lunch and brunch and things like that. But I remember her telling me she had a date in the Burger King parking lot. And I was like too through at that point. (laughs) I was too through. I was like, you had a date in the Burger King parking lot, girl. Oh, my Lord. You know, and so it's just like I don't want to be in a a situation because where I'm, you know, judgy, or if that's what you want to do, girl, you want to meet somebody in Burger King parking lot, okay, but, mm, you know, it really doesn't make sense, and the fitness piece, and just a lot of stuff, like, 
there's a lot of things that when you're like on the level of journey and you are dating up there's just so much stuff that we already know is a given like we already are just on it it's just it's just an unspoken un you know it's hard for me to explain but we have a lot in common we're on similar paths and we have similar priorities so when you meet a regular pick Misha who is constantly you know you know sifting through dusty after dusty you know and you're like okay you don't want to bombard people you know you don't want to bombard a pick Misha with oh that guy's dusty or like because they just don't get it I don't think they want to because it's not like they're asking questions and trying to implement things to change their outcome they're just complaining about their various dusties and so for me it just doesn't make sense I don't like to see black women harmed I don't like to see black women exploited and used so if you're going to date your your um dusty you need to do it in peace you know you need to do it um in silence away from me i don't want to know that you're being you know taken advantage of by a dusty um because i just it's mentally hard on me i don't want to be connected to that so um you know another instance i remember i was supposed to be meeting up with this woman at a golf club and we had a day in mind and then she canceled like maybe three or four days in advance and then i followed up with her like maybe a week or two later about um, rescheduling she maybe responded but no date checked on the date um, you know just checked in a couple times and didn't just no response totally went radio silence so I think the biggest thing with trying to make new friends however way you're going about it whether you do a meetup group or a social media group like Facebook or if there's an offshoot from a page that you um, listen to like a, a private patreon or a private discord or something where you can connect with women um in your city that's all you know maybe connected through the same community or or content creator um you're gonna re you're going to um encounter rejection you're going to encounter apathy you're going to encounter radio silence you're going to encounter people who are not going to be the best friend for you you're going to um encounter people who have one foot in the one foot in and one foot out or who are not equally yoked to you you know you're going to encounter all of that but don't take anything too do too personal I'll say that don't take anything too personal um people are busy life is busy there's so many billions of people on the planet you know you just got to find your people you just got to find your person and find your people find your handful of um, connections because we are social beings it's very important that we have relationships with other women that we're not just focused on dating or finding a boyfriend and all of this and that but that you actually have friends that you can rely on in your city it's it's, it's just important especially if you live away from your family or if you've had to distance yourself from your family because you know they're not supportive or in alignment with your leveled up lifestyle um, and you've had to distance yourself you know you still need that connection and you still need that sisterhood so I think just being diligent and setting an intention so what I did different from the first time I really started but the first time I started attracting new friends to myself I didn't have any real parameters on anything I was just like I just want new friends new friends who are leveling up say they leveling up and that's all I really said so a lot of those friends that I attracted weren't you know really um they just weren't the best fit so then I was like I set an intention for higher quality connections I said I want women who are ahead of me in lifestyle I'm tired of being the one with all the connections I'm you know I don't want to be the only one that's turning heads I don't want to be the only one securing VIP I don't want to be the only one you know responsible for transportation I don't want to be the only one bringing generous men to the table I don't you know I want women who are doing it better than me or at my level or better you know what I'm saying and um, women who are on par with me looks wise even women who are like my height like I've gone out with girls like five foot and I'm just towering over them and it looks crazy you know what I'm saying so I even manifested 
you know, women my height. So we can all be these like model-esque women walking through the door. So, you know, women of my height-ish, um, you know, with, you know, similar and looks, not like my clone but you know just like ranking wise like similar to me or better why not like I'm not jealous at all of people of women who are more beautiful than me I just feel like hey if we go out that just means more benefits for all of us that's the way I see it so I don't I'm not jealous at all I'm never I've never been that one to try to surround myself with you know women who I'm like oh I want to look the best in the group so let me get some ratchet people to surround me no birds of a feather flock together I always try to have you know, classy, elegant women, um, elegant and beautiful women with me because it, that's a reflection on me. So, um, you know, I wanted women who are already kind of living the lifestyle I'm living, already like have access to luxury stuff and likes to do similar things to me that are single, that are dating, that are out there, that are being social. And so now my next like round of women that I've been attracting have been way higher quality. So I'm grateful and I'm thankful for that. So I think just putting an intention as to what it is that you're trying to do. Are you trying to go out? Are you just trying to find an adventure pal? Do you want to have somebody to bounce ideas off of? Do you want all of that wrapped in one? Um, do you want, if you're a single mother, do you want to hang out with other single mothers? Do you want like travel buddies? Like think about what it is that would bring value to your life as it relates to a, a relationship as a person. And then set your intention around that and then open up your eyes and look in your network and see who is possibly connected to you and then just put yourself out there. Um, don't think of it as a referendum on your self-worth because that makes the bar way too high. It makes it makes the anxiety level too high. It makes the stakes too high when you put too much um when you put too much uh, emphasis on any particular outcome, and this can be translated to any new relationships, a relationship with a man, relationship with a woman, relationship with whoever. You never want to put too much emphasis on your given any given outcome that you want. You just keep it open because connection works both ways. Um, friendship works both ways. You know, choosing to be friends, like it goes both ways. So you put out there and then the other person can reciprocate back to you you know what I'm saying so that is you can only can control yourself so if you never put yourself out there you never give anybody an opportunity to respond to you and want to connect with you further to hang out to spend time to be a positive influence on each other's life so I would say just try to take the pressure off don't beat yourself up if something doesn't work out or if some women ghost you or they don't call you back like you know don't think of it as like I attract bad people or people are shady and you kind of make these grand generalizations of all humans all over the world just you know take every interaction for what it is and just kind of um, grow your muscle of acceptance of what is and don't be afraid to put yourself out there um, think about it as anything else that you want in life you know whether it be a job that you want um, a body that you want you go to the gym a lot or you know um, a certification that you're trying to get and you're studying for it at night and you put energy whatever you put energy in grows and expands so if creating um, relationships with women in the level up community is something important to you put some energy into it so you know a lot some time to search your Facebook groups or your social media groups for women that live in your city or who women who travel who could be a potential travel buddy um, send those emails you know send those messages uh, and, and touch base with people and follow up if people are on your mind, you know, touch base with them. Um, that's how things happen, you know, one, one step at a time and just prioritizing it for you. Think about what you're going to get out of these connections, how it can bring value to your life. And if it does bring value to your life, then just a lot the appropriate amount of time um, and energy that it would take to actually foster and nurture those relationships with communication and taking time to actually meet. It's so challenging in 2021 to actually physically meet anybody and to keep your schedule and actually honor your word. But um, so give yourself some grace and give that other person some grace. But also just be be diligent about just be intentional about it. Yeah, that's what I would say. Be intentional about um, making the connections and maintaining the connections once you get them. Because um, I, you know, you don't want those like one and done situations where you go, you hang out and you never really, you know, do it again. So making those connections and maintaining those connections 
um, and continue to also increase your you know inner relationship with yourself that always helps reflect on the grace and compassion and openness and acceptance that you have for others when you have compassion empathy acceptance and um, reverence for yourself so you know you don't have to wait until you're perfect to make friends uh, you know and we can talk about that in another video you don't have to wait until you're perfect uh, to get going with your uh, level of journey uh, some of these things will be done simultaneously so while you continue to work on fortifying your relationship with yourself all your inner acceptance love and compassion and worthiness and all those great things you can still get out there and make connections with other women so hopefully um, you can be more precise uh, so you don't waste time. Well, I, don't, I won't say that I wasted time, but I, I wasn't as intentional. Uh, so the, that was the error that I made the first go round. So um, the second go round, just be intentional about. Um, well, you know that was my lesson that I want to share with you. To so be intentional as you make make um, your efforts to make these connections. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please do let me know in the comments how is things going with you as far as making level up friend connections. Have you met new friends? How's it going? Um, do you feel like you know your your network is rich and robust and dynamic? Like, do you, what do you want to tweak? Where do you want to grow? What do you want to release? What do you want to nurture? I look forward to reading your comments below. Peace. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with the Afrocentric Woman. Special gratitude to our subscribers. If you'd like to stay connected with this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you like this content, please hit the like button. If you have any comments or thoughts about the content shared, please drop down into the comment section and let us know. Remember, you are worthy, you are enough, you are unique, and you are lovable. And I appreciate you.